welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, beloved, welcome back to another week of Grace Today and thinking on the sermons that we're learning uh, from Zechariah currently right now on Sunday mornings, and then the end of the week we'll look at uh, what we learned this past Sunday from Exodus and a big chunk of Exodus, really. Uh, but tonight we're going to, or today, man, it's a my brain is not working today, this morning, whatever time you're watching this. Maybe it is night for you. I don't know. But today we're going to think on what we learned this past Sunday morning from Zechariah chapter 13 uh, and the cleansing of Israel. Uh, the first thing we see is in verse 1, this promise of the cleansing. The Lord is going to be the one to bring this about uh, by opening up a fountain for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them of sin and impurity. And so as we looked at this promise on Sunday, we talked about how it gives us the timing. It's in that day. It's this eschatological day. We talked about how it shows us the source of this cleansing. It's of the Lord, uh, the objects of this cleansing. It's the people of Israel, both the royal and the common folk. And it shows us uh, the, the effect of that cleansing, the cleansing of sin and impurity, that being that criminality against God's holiness. That's the idea of sin and the impurity, the defilement that comes from sin. God is going to totally cleanse his people from sin. Uh, this is a great promise for the people of Israel in the future, um, and it's speaking of that here, but of course it does point us to the nature of our own spiritual cleansing that is divinely initiated according to his promise, that is by his grace being poured out upon us, that um, doesn't is no respecter of persons. Uh, God saves people from every tribe and tongue and nation, and he cleanses us from our sin and from our iniquity. He takes away uh, the penalty due our sin and the power of sin in our life one day, the presence of sin. It's a, a full cleansing. So as we think on all of this, of course, the the best application is simply to praise the Lord for our own cleansing. Praise the Lord for the fact that he saved us from our sins. He took away the penalty of our sins. He did it all according to his promise by his grace and the pouring out of his spirit. So let me encourage you, spend some time today thanking the Lord for your own cleansing, uh, for your uh, freedom from sin, for your cleansing from the penalty of sin. And then spend some time today praying uh, for the Lord to save those in your life who are not saved, who have not yet experienced this. Let me encourage you. I've done this many times over several videos through different books of the Bible. Uh, really think about this personally. Pick three, three to five people in your life that you know are unsaved. Pray for them today specifically that the Lord would save them, cleanse them of their sin, and praise the Lord for his cleansing of you. I pray this is a great blessing and encouragement to you, friends. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.